New York fans were very vocal about you this week on social media. How would you feel about playing for the Giants? Well, I'm flattered by their interest. But honestly, I just want a shot. If they give me a chance, I'll be ready to work. Totally understand. What do you feel is your biggest strength as an NFL quarterback? Well, I've worked with the legendary Jack Ford, so reading a defense is in my DNA. What do you say to the critics that think you aren't ready to play in the NFL? Have any of these critics ever played football? <laughs> Honestly, I don't care what they say. It's all white noise to me. All that really matters is what those NFL teams think, guys. I just, let's say this all doesn't work out for you. What's your plan B? No plan B for me. It's mm -hmm. a great answer. It's very yeah. smart. Thank you. Oh, Bavarian chocolate cake. Nice twist. That's my client. Uh, let it um, let, let it go to voicemail. Build some anticipation. But, but if you answer it. You'll show that the teams can count on you. So, uh, so, uh, answer it, answer it, answer it. Hello? Congratulations. You're one of the select few players invited to this year's NFL Draft in Nashville. Please have your agent contact our office, and we'll see you in the Music City in April. Yes, sir. What can I help you with? Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes! Oh, sorry. sorry. Wait. What are you gonna wear? I never even thought about that. Come on, Les. Think. What is he gonna wear? A suit. I don't. I don't have a suit. We can purchase one. Hey, hey. Give me goods. Check this guy out, huh? It's a winner right there. Yeah. Come on, give him a turn. Give him a spin. Hey, over here, over here. That's it. Yeah, drink it all in. It's okay, you don't have to do that. It's okay. I don't think right. I have to do that. Okay, right. You need over shoulder look. There he is. Look right here. Looking good, man. Look my way. Yeah, look my way. What's going on? Well, just you, please. Yeah, yeah, no. Take it all in. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, this guy. <laughs> Welcome to the 2019 National Football League Draft Live on NFL Network. An amazing spectacle right here in Nashville, Tennessee that has been filled with entry and drama. And it is all about to suddenly subside with answers to long-standing questions involving the Heisman Trophy winner, Kyler Murray. DJ, you're first. What are you expecting to see tonight? Well, I'm just waiting for this first pick, not knowing what's going to happen with the first pick and Kyler Murray specifically. That, to me, is the biggest story in this entire draft. And for me, over the last few years, it's been about movement to get quarterbacks. You know, I'm looking to see, is there going to be some movement? Are people going to start jumping? <laughs> Six picks left in the first round. Can't afford my condo representing a second rounder. Sorry. We need more clients. Signal in here. Stinks. Hey, anybody know how much a uh, 26th pick makes? No? All right, bro. If that's the bank calling about my condo loan, tell them I'm not here. Just. Hello? Hey, this is Brian Flores, head coach of the Miami Dolphins. We've had our eye on you for a while. We're excited. We're going to make you the newest member of the Miami Dolphins. You ready to go on that? Coach, I'm ready to make 25 other teams regret their decision. Good, that's what I like to hear. Welcome to the Miami Dolphins. Thank you. What team will Come on! Yeah. He's coming up here. He hesitates a little bit. Put the timing of that throw on the money. Doesn't have to throw it 40 yards down the field. Yeah. Put it on the money, and you're Woo. a big player. Here we go. Here's the commissioner in effect. No! Oh, oh, oh. Players only. In the 2019 yeah. NFL yeah. Draft, yeah. the Miami Dolphins. 
Celeste. Let's start at the top with the Dolphins. Draft winners or draft losers? Uh, the who's hers? <laughs> How could you call them they, they filled the need losers? at quarterback. That's great. They filled the need. They got a quarterback. Yay! And they spent a first-round pick on a six-round talent. That's a winner? <laughs> six-round talent? Did you watch this dude play? Yeah! Did you see him at the Thank combine? you. Are you Thank serious? You. He's been jumping up the draft boards for months. Yeah, I watched him stay on the sideline in college. He couldn't even start for his college team. He's going to save an NFL franchise. Sure yes. he is. And I'll tell you why. Because this isn't college. For the first time in his life, he actually has a coaching staff who is putting their faith in him. A coaching staff that actually believes in him. So where are we headed? Oh, isn't it on the app? Is that you? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I wasn't going to say anything because I'm a professional. But for what it's worth, I think you are the guy that's going to turn things around here for our quarterback situation. You know, I played a little juco ball myself. That's cool, man. That's cool. Had the coach in here last week, and I was not impressed at all. I do a little JV coaching in my spare time, so I have a really good feel about the game. Oh, she told him one of my plays. He could have used it this someday. Mm. You know, I actually haven't met him yet. Coach Flores? He called defensive plays up in New England last year. But I'm a little worried about our offense. No offense. We lost Tannehill, Danny Mandola, the old workhorse, Frank Gore. They're all gone. You know that our best receiver is our running back. I get why they drafted you, even after taking Rosen. Because I think you could be the next Marino. And if the coaches don't see that, tell them to call me. I'll tell them. Thanks. Uh, I'll pass it along. I'm not really sure how much they'll listen to me, though. I'm just a rookie. Had Chris Pratt in here last week. Good-looking guy. I think if he fights a Raptor, the Raptor's going to win. That's just me. That's just me. I don't care how many names he calls me. In fact, I, I actually did some, I do some archaeology on the side. And I found a T-Rex bone in Missouri once. I think it was a T-Rex bone. I was like, look at whoa! <laughs> Sorry about that. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, actually, I think you could just drop me off right up here, man. Oh, yeah, sure. Just right up front. Thank you. This is the start of something beautiful, kid. And in this city, if you need anything, if you need alpacas, if you need emus, any type of livestock, home loan, or warranty, you call me. You're the guy. If you...